my name is Danny, and today I have got a Sephora haul for you. Uh, first thing I have is this, which is just a little travel size thing of brushes. And it says on the packaging it's $16, but it is on fit clearance right now on Sephora for 7 if anyone is interested in that. Um, and they're all eye brushes, obviously. Uh, you get a shadow brush, a crease brush, a pointed brush, and an angled smudge brush. The only one I don't really like is the angled smudge, but that's just because it's a little, I don't know, the bristles are a little weird, I think. Personal opinion, though, all the other ones are really nice and soft. Um, the next thing I got is this, which is the uh, travel size full exposure palette by Smashbox. And this has eight, I don't know if it's six, has eight different shadows in it. You get the top row is shimmers and the bottom row is matte. And each matte shade has a corresponding shimmer shade, which I think is really, really cool. Really create, like, it's very versatile. I like that a lot. Um, I got this one, I got the mini one, because I, I really do want the, um, full-size one, but, honestly, I just did not feel like spending $54, I think it is, on the full-size one, so I spent 22 and got the travel size, and it's actually a little bit smaller than I thought, it's, like, really thin, it's about the size of a credit card. Yeah, actually, it's about the exact same, like, size of a credit card, so it's very thin, be really good for traveling. And I got two more of the, like, little mini Bite Beauty lippies. I got this one, which is a double-ended one. And this one came in the color Musk, and one that looks an R that I really, really, really can't pronounce. And that is that one. That's the color I don't know how to say. This is Muck. It looks like that. And this is the other one. It looks like that is really light on camera. It's actually it's light in real person too, is she? on camera a little bit worse. And then the other one I got is actually a matte cream lip pencil. And it looks like this. And honestly this packaging is very deceiving. Um because like as big as this packaging is that is all the product you get. So it could have been a little less deceiving I think. Like they could have used smaller packaging. One, the only other thing I really don't like is that the tip is out, and I'm afraid I'm going to like smash it in. But here is that color. It's actually probably my favorite out of all the three. Um, yes. Oh, and one more thing about the packaging. If anyone knows, like this little part. Oh, this is in the color um Gabby, G A B I. If anyone is wondering, I don't remember if I mentioned it. Um, this little part right here that has the name on it, it pops out. Anybody know why? Or is that just a thing? I don't understand. Anyway, though, that is actually everything I bought. Everything else I have to show you is samples. This first thing I'm going to show you is by Murad. And this was like one of those, like, if you spend more than $25 and you put, on, put in the code, you can get it. And this is actually a three day supply of their face wash. And basically, each of these packets is per, like, you use one of these packets per day, and you're supposed to use half of it in the morning and half of it at night. <coughs> um, I'm really excited to try this because I really do want to try the Murad um, face wash. And I really, really, really want to try it. But I just, I've been a little reluctant to kind of, you know, drop a ton of cash on it. It's not super expensive. I think you get, you can get like a 12 ounce bottle for like $36, which is not bad. 
for $35, I think, it's, it's not bad, but, and that's a lot of face wash, 12 ounces, so, but I'm just afraid I'm going to do that, and that I'm not going to like it, so I decided I'd get, like, this, the only thing I wish they would have did with this is instead of having the foil packets, if they would have put it, like, in a little tiny, like, bottle, that would have been awesome. And then when I did my samples, they were having a thing where this ended, I think, yesterday, where you got to pick your samples, obviously, like you always do, but you got to pick five instead of three. So the first one I got is a sample of the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. And it gave, you know, like, you have this card with all the shades, and on the back it has, like, all the shades on it. And then you get, everyone got the shade Light 48, which is this one, which I think might be a little light for me, honestly. Um, just looking at the thing, I'm probably a medium 52 or a medium 53. But, having a sample, even if it is too light, obviously I can still put it on my face and just kind of see if I like the actual foundation I feel. You know, so that's pretty cool. Um, then I also got a sample of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. This came in the color neutral. It has a 9 there. I don't know if it's like 9 neutral or if that's just there for nothing. I don't know. So, again with this, I don't know if it's going to be the right shade, but I can work with it. Um, I got a sample of the Pores No More um, Pore Refining Primer from Dr. Brandt. Um, and then I got this thing from Makeup Forever. This is their Step 1 Skin Equalizer collection. I guess I have like 10 or so different like different primers that do different things. And in this one you got samples of four. You get a sample of the mattifying primer, a sample of the smoothing primer, a sample of their hydrating primer, and a sample of the redness correcting primer. And I have not, it's not this brand, I got it in a Mimi box, but I have a green makeup primer and I absolutely love it. So I'm really excited about this one. And then also these other three definitely giving them a try. I would I'm really excited about that. And then the last sample I got is actually one I'm actually really, really excited about. And it is um a Alpha Beta Peel Extra Strength Formula by Dr. Dennis Gross. And it's like one of these little two step ones and you use the pad. Um it says <coughs> oh, excuse me. It says you can use this in the AM or the PM, and it's a use daily type thing, apparently. It says apply step one, pad to clean dry skin using circular motions, wait two minutes, and repeat process with step two. Do not rinse after either step, and do not use products containing alcohol. There is a warning on this one that says that using this product will make your skin more sensitive to the sun and more susceptible to sunburns, and to make sure you use a lot of, you know, SPF. So I think this is cool to, I think this is kind of neat, like, for example, to try it because I know stuff like this, like peels and stuff, can be pretty expensive. So there is that. And that is my Sephora haul. And again, I really like everything I got. I love the lipsticks, I think, the most, and they're just my colors. Um, I will, I'm so bad. I'm going to have another Sephora haul in, like, two weeks. I know I am because in about a week I'm going to be, so I'm going to be buying another little haul, this is, but anyway, I don't know, I'm just, I'm on such a Sephora kick lately, it's like I switched from buying a shit ton of nail polish all the time to buying Sephora, so I don't know, one vice to the next, I suppose, but I'm gonna let everyone go, and I'll catch you later, bye!